Hello, Lady and the Frogs. So, me, Linda, Ziggy, and Shelley. So, it's midday. It's past midday. It's ridiculously late. I wanted to be up early doing this, but I've hardly had any sleep. So, happy Christmas and all that jazz. It is the 28th, Wednesday. I have a pile of posts to do. And I haven't, well, I've pulled it now. That took a while. I don't know why. Um, I was just sort of like faffing around. <laughs> um, I only came back from my parents yesterday. So I kind of would have liked to have got ahead and done this yesterday. You know, because I'm probably going to get on that computer. And there'll be something wrong with, the, with packling <laughs> for eBay. Because this is all eBay sales. Um, my personal account hasn't sold anything which is really weird but yeah I think it's technically 17 orders because some of it is the airmail stuff which was from last week so well on Saturday when the post office that was said it was open was closed uh, and I now got and I've got to go to UPS so yeah I only I only drove back yesterday from my parents my husband hasn't been there because he's still not well and he's now gone back to bed. That's, that's why I haven't slept because he's been up and down all night, not very well at all. Um, just couldn't get comfortable. So he ended up coming in here and sitting on the sofa. So I know he didn't sleep in here because I put the washing machine on timer to come on at 5am. <laughs> so I know that would have woken him up. It wasn't a cracking idea. Um, yeah, so it's not great. I think I've probably had about three hours sleep with all of that because it was a late one anyway. <laughs> and then I was knackered yesterday. When I came back yesterday, I was just so done in. The drive down, so I have to take the M6 to my parents because it's Nottinghamshire area. And I have no idea what they've done to the M6, but it just seems to be a disaster zone since they put this smart motorway in. It, it just seems to create more car crashes than ever and there's so the the thing is is they, they said on the news um there's going to be more people on the road but they didn't say on the news is there's going to be more people on the road and these people are usually sitting on trains they don't actually know how to drive but they're going to be driving anyway and you're going to have to deal with them and i know that i'm not like an I haven't been like driving for ages myself so but I don't know I've got the confidence and I, I do understand the concept of things so there was like a very there was, well, there was there was two accidents one of them was really serious and I'm pretty sure that somebody probably died in that um and my fucking jaw dropped when I actually finally got past it but because it's a smart motorway and it's got the gantry um it's got these things so bear with me um, I think that there's, there's probably like a lot of people out there who don't actually know what it means. So you've got this red circle with a speed limit in it, which was 40 in two of the lanes. And then on the other two lanes, it's got a red circle and a cross in the middle of it on these two lanes. Now, I don't think you have to be of driving age to kind of know what that means that these lanes are closed, but it didn't stop everybody from nailing along there. So that then stopped ambulances coming along there. I mean, I they also have these other bits, you know, these like curved bits that come over which tell you, and it said that there was an act, a report of an accident. Because initially it said report of an accident. And then it said get over. But nobody's ever, nobody pays any heed of these these instructions. And it was, it was, it, I've never, I've been, I've seen, car shunts before and I worked in um the industry for a while <laughs> um so this was a seven car shunt I think and then so those were the ones that were all sandwiched together and the, there were several people sort of standing there so there's obviously people stuck in the cars then there was a BMW that was pointing the wrong way and then there seemed to be another car which had flipped over the central reservation and that was that had landed on the other side of the road so then there they were stuck going uh, northbound i was going southbound so it was a really wild accident 
and I did sort of like slow down and I was quite shocked and I you know I admit I was rubber necking him like an idiot <laughs> I've just never I've never seen anything quite like that um but I was more annoyed with I was shouting at these people because I was just like why are you going ahead and you can even you can even see the police blockade because there's bits of the M6 where the incline is, and I'm in a small car. These people are in those stupid four by fours where they're like 10 foot in the air. They can see further down the road than I can. If I can see it, you can see it very clearly. You're just a, you're just a knobhead. And frankly, they should do that in the future. They should just do that where they have these like holes that just sort of like open up in the road. So it's just like, right, so what we're gonna, we're gonna do it today. Um, so, three miles back we're going to put those things on that's got the cross and then we're going to open up the special hole in the road Shh. and all the people who fail to get over into the lanes that we're asking them to will just go into this hole you know and we'll do away with a lot of the idiots of the world they, you know it's an absolute solution when they put the smart motorways in they, that's what they should have done they should have had these sections smart motorways Shh. and then it, it takes them to the pit of hell and we can just get rid of these people that would have been a far better control measure than COVID. You know, just think of all of the people who lack common sense, um, sympathy for other people, consideration for other people, consideration for the fact that the people in an accident down there and the ambulance couldn't get past them. You know, you know it's a solution and you know it is. You know, just a hole in the road. Shh. Boop, boop, boop. You know, you can't even say, oh, this is unethical because these people were given a chance three miles back, you know, when the road, the, the road was at a standstill anyway. They were given an opportunity to, to, co to go over into the lane that didn't have the, the hole in it. It's a perfect solution, in my opinion. You know, and exactly the reason why I should be put in charge. Anyway, you came here for eBay. I did not I did not enjoy that anyway the, the whole the whole thing with this m6 thing is that it was just like when you're going from 17 miles an hour to zero miles an hour oh it's just like no and then stopping and starting so after that big accident then there was another accident and it did it again um and then it did it a bit further down because I was foolish and I didn't leave it on the a500 the first day have 500 uh, uh, yeah <laughs> And then on the way back, it did it again. But that wasn't accidents. That was just stop, start, stop, start, stop, start all the way back. I don't know if it was because Man United were playing. I just think there's just a lot of retards on the road. But, and journey which should have taken, well, when I first moved to Manchester, the journey used to take just over an hour and 10. Um, and now, now it takes about an hour and a half. Yesterday, it took me three hours. Um, and the other day, it took me two and a half hours it was just beyond a joke it's like <laughs> it was absolutely draining so anyway enough talk about the m6 because we all know that the m6 is just weird anyway um this is what i've sold annoyingly i've sold this i've sold this for 18 pounds and i've will i've told myself to stop picking this stuff up because it's like i get annoyed enough sometimes when i've got to wrap a lego up this i've now got to try and get this to the united states without it getting broken so i've got to fiddle ass around with packing this up this morning and i really just, i don't have the time <laughs> because i've been unconscious uh yeah so this is pyrex gaiety snowflake yellow uh, lemon yellow um the woman's very excited to receive this i just hope that i can get that to the united states i was hoping that it would go in that so I'm hoping I can put it in that and then that can go in that and I can float it. Yeah, so that'll work. So at least I've got the boxes ready. Yes. Um, yeah. 18 pounds. It's not even, it's, you see, that's, that's the thing. It's not even worth the faffing around. Then I've sold all of these. These have been on auction round and round and round and round other people get really good prices for it but not me i mean i know i've only paid 10p each for these books but i really thought that i might get like a i thought i might get a decent 
auction flurry because I started it at £20 and that's what it sold for. So like decor things and I know that they're not in very good condition. So that's why. Um, so now that means I've got to go to UPS, which is irritating. Just wanted an easy life today. It's, it's stupid because I should be like entirely rested. So that box is way too small. So I'm putting them in here. In this one, I think I probably would have been better off listing most of these separately. So, there we go. anyway, a box. My parents have given me loads of bubble wrap, so that's a bonus. And then I have sold this. So, this is the boxed one of the ones that you saw the other day. Um, which I think is probably still sitting over there because it didn't get to go, did it? Um, yeah, so the box version of that, so that's actually what it's supposed to look like. I did have that up for 45 quid because other people seem to have got that price. I didn't get that price. Somebody sent me an offer of 33 pounds yesterday and I just said, right, let's, let's just take it. I have been taking offers. Um, this is another space set. Um, little spaceship all of this stuff you can see when I've done my Lego videos if you're really that bothered <coughs> um, I know that this I think this one's got like a few issues with it um, you yeah, know just some substitute color parts $17.99 for that $5.99 for that which is just a medic car but all of this stuff is just very sundry and then this person wanted to buy loads and loads of fire sets and they sent me loads of numbers of things and the only one that I had of the numbers was this little car and then for some reason they bought the one that didn't have um it didn't have instructions with it even though I've got one that's got instructions with it um and a number of the things I asked for <coughs> A number of the sets that they asked for are stuff that I had literally at the beginning of the month, but obviously it sold quite fast and stuff which I can probably compile. But it's it was Christmas Day and I was like, you think I'm dragging Lego out on like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day to start seeing if I've got some sets for you. And I've just tied it up and it was really nice in my other room. It's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, two sort of that's called the fire chief car and that's like the fire engine car so those are both the same buyer and they were just like that was 3 99 and that was 8 99 very decent really i suppose and then a the whole load of clothes so this this is just a I like t-shirt thing which i've just gone looking for in dresses because i assumed there was a dress looking at the picture but it's 3xl um and that just came with a job lot of stuff and it's only gone for 99p because it's just it's like a non-brand so that's kind of irrelevant it's just a lot of my auction stuff has been selling i don't know why it's almost like they didn't bother showing it to anybody and now they've just suddenly thought oh, i should probably show some people these auction listings um so this is dancing leopard somebody sent me an offer of 22 pounds i had it up for 30 so i took that so yeah you know i probably could have held out for more but you know, when it's two, three pounds I'm selling, it's two, that I'm purchasing for. That's fine. This has gone for four ninety nine, I think. Yeah, because it's crap, and I must stop picking it up. That's the money thing. We're not going to be picking this brand up anymore because it's stupid. And then these have gone for four ninety nine as well because these are just crap. <sighs> these have been around for ages. You know like a lace print it's just not even what anybody wants and that's jane norman they're very stretchy uh, but they've got one item on auction and then i've got one two three four pairs of the wholesale chinos thankfully different colors so i should be able to not mess this up as i do the order i was going to pull them out and do them separately and then i just thought come on you're not that retarded you're not that retarded yet. Yeah. You can manage to do that. So those will have gone for £25 each. So, the, you know, there we've got £100 with an outlay of two for each thing. 
so that's everything and i've really got to crack on because I, I need to get this done and obviously it's not just like poly bag situation which is what i enjoy what is this it's a piece of sellotape i've now ditched the carpet the carpet was really clean so there you are it proves to proves that my stock is obviously horrendous i lied i've got two of these packs <laughs> yes yeah, so we've got two lego packs there um, which are obviously like sealed and ready to go. They're both Technics. They've sold for eight ninety nine, so that's fine. Um, that's just stuff that's in my way, which just trick so trickles through generally. Right, let's pack this up. So the whole being late thing, getting up is not paid off. Post office is closed again. It's got a notice on it saying come back in two hours. So, I have to come back in two hours. That's half four, which isn't great at all. So, I'm probably going to go home and do some listing and then I'll come back at half four <laughs> because I do know them here and he's got a massive backlog. He's on his own. He's not got a, um, it'd just be him so he won't have gone on his lunch break so i know that's what it is but so when he was letting the others out i gave him the post so but i've got two i've got to pay for so i will have to come back which is annoying isn't it but never mind <laughs> right just coming up to four so i am gonna go back out to the post office which is annoying <laughs> um pay for the two air miles that i've got that's because i don't want them to sit so, things that I've done, I have listed two Lego sets and I have listed this jigsaw, which I had done, but I just quickly took photos of it and put it away. So you didn't get to see proof of the fact, well there is proof on my eBay account that I've done it. <laughs> Yeah, so done that jigsaw. That was complete, thankfully. 1993, that actually was. I've looked it up. Um, they don't put the year on the older ones. But, you know, for a 30 year old jigsaw to be complete, that's quite good. So, those are listed. I've put that one, I've put the jigsaw on for 25. I actually want one of those Lego sets on for 25. Um, and then I've, next one I'm going to do is this which this I think is 2018, so this is a lot more recent. So if there's missing parts to this. Anyway, I do have other little bits to list, but not that much at all. Um, I have sewing jobs to do, which I might crack on with tomorrow. I haven't made any sales yet today, which is weird because, you know, there's literally, you know, 25 to 30 parcels, which I've just taken up to the post office. Anyway, I want to like go. I'm not going to take the car because that's just ridiculous. I drive there twice. Um, it's bad enough on this road anyway. So I don't want to take the car out when it's just getting dark and people don't put the headlights on and just fly about. So I'm going to walk up there. It stopped raining. So it's not that bad. Um, and then I'll come back and start this jigsaw. Not the best situation. I really must make sure that I go early for the rest of the week. Because that's that's the key, isn't it? It's going early to the post office before it's like stupid. Because everybody comes in the afternoon and... Yeah. <laughs> everybody comes in the afternoon and then... The, if the, there's only one of them, I don't know why there's, why there's, why there's one of them that don't celebrate Christmas. I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna crack on with that annoyance. Right, it's all back from the post office. They put that on my <laughs> receipts. So I just had to go in and just literally pay and they've done all my receipts. So it was kind of convenient. It was so apologetic. We didn't need to be apologetic because I understood. So that's all done. And apparently I'm a nice lady. So there we go, a nice lady. Um, yeah, and so now I've had a walk, so now I'm not so much of a fat knacker, really. I've just finished my shift with Jay, um, because he, he's not very well, so I've had to eat, 
doing a shift in bed where I style his hair and things and make him better. Yeah, so that's Simon, the crazy one. Am I in your way? Um, yeah, so also went to Tesco, absolutely no decent bargains. Um, I picked up some San Miguel that was nine pounds for a pack and the, the pack, package was damaged and I think it had one beer missing and the guy behind the till says oh um, well if you buy if you have a club card um, you can get it for eight pound anyway brand new and undamaged without a, a one missing so that was so it's eight pounds without any damage or nine pounds reduced it doesn't make any sense so I got some croissants 180 they were these are reduced prices some coleslaw which i think was like 70p so i suppose that's okay and a lettuce for 40p so i mean the lettuce must be okay because it's it's the one that outlasted um whatever her name was i want to say Theresa may but i can't remember what her name was what was her name liz trust that was it liz trust <laughs> so yeah crap bargains not really much there um and that's me done. I am now just going to get on with the next 1,500 jigsaw because obviously I've listed one. That one's gone on for £25. I should think that this one's probably only £20 one because it's quite modern. So people can get it new and sealed. So we're going to crack on with that now. And that's me done for today's vlog. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more of this and more crazy frogs. No, you can't say crazy, it's racist or something. Okay, bye! It's still Christmas! Keep Christmas in, or I'll come round and, and, and tinsel you. Okay, thanks for watching! Bye!